Um, so, I'm listening to uh, NPR, uh, a show called The Source with David Martin Davies. And the thing is, they're talking about, like, the new, you know, fad of Beyond Burger and the Beyond Meat and um, um, just basically the meat replacements or meat uh, substitutes that they have out now. You know, Burger King has a big thing, the Impossible Whopper and all that type of stuff. And the thing about it is, is like, <laughs> they're going to be kind of beating around the bush to say they're no more healthier than eating a regular hamburger. Uh, but, you know, it's for the earth or whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's for, uh, because of the climate change and, you know, all that stuff that everybody wants, you know, is talking about, et cetera. And so, you know, that's the reason why they're really pushing these Beyond Burgers and Impossible Burgers and meat replacements. Everybody, every single company has one coming out pretty soon uh, from... Uh, the Impossible is already out, but Cargill, Tyson, everybody's coming out with them now. And the thing about it is, it's like, still the mystery of what's in it, they're never not going over that. But yeah, they, you know, but it's not even healthier than an actual hamburger itself. And so it's getting to the point where you have to ask yourself in about, it's new now to us to a certain extent, you know what I'm saying? Uh, especially anybody who came up, uh, you know, garden burgers and all that type of stuff that was looked like vegetables ground up into, you know, it looked like, you know, what meat versus these new things that they come out with that look just like meat, but nowhere near meat. All of the artificial stuff that it takes for it to even look like that has to let you know that it's not healthier than actually eating meat. And it's just like, I think in about 20 years, Everybody who's jumped on this fad of this Impossible Burger and um, and Beyond Meat Burgers and all that type of stuff, they're going to have some kind of illness. This is going to relate directly back to that. And they're going to be telling themselves, man, I thought I was doing so much better. I thought I was changing up. I thought I was going to so much different going to the meat substitute versus just eating a regular hamburger. And... They're going to be very upset and they're going to try to sue somebody and they're going to try to say what they didn't know and all that type of stuff. But it's sure going to come down to common sense. It's what it's going to come down to. You know what I mean? It's going to come down to common sense ethics. If you want a hamburger, buy ground beef and make a hamburger. Or ground, ground turkey, make you a patty. Uh, ground chicken, make you a patty. You know what I'm saying? Instead of, you know, thinking that you bypassing something by getting this, you know, half vegetable, uh, uh, lab grown creation, basically, uh, that looks like simulates and everything, you know, coconut oil and sapphire oil and all that type of stuff. And, but it's not really what you thought you were actually getting. It's not no healthier than what you would be eating if you didn't have murder. So uh, I think that a lot of people are going to be very disappointed pretty soon. Uh, and it's going to be a shame. It's going to be a real big shame. But, hey, that's all I got to say for today. Good night.